Hello everyone and welcome to another wonderful Wednesday Run Wrestling, the fourth WRW for the fourth week of World Run Wrestling. Let's see after the events of Ren XT, Moon Name NXT. For all those who watch Ren XT, the fourth Ren XT. If not, it's on YouTube for everyone to watch. Post after even the live Rinston upload premiere. It's like how this one will be too. But anyway, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday. And ready for some more Roland Wrestling Rentertainment with WRW. Wednesday Rin Wrestling with the matches that we have in store for tonight. Like the first, the teaser for the first match, which was going to be a handicap match until Kristen, the cool man, Hart said to Neckles Grimm, Hey there, friend, hang in here in this tag team match while making sure you're not fighting alone. I uh, basically kind of, you know, because uh, I kind of incorporated Christian Cool's really cool lurk messages of, hey there, friend, hang in here while I do my thing. Instead, it's like, hey there, friend, coming in to help you with a tag team match against Aquarius Wolf, Aquarius Wolf, and Eve White Wolf. Ow! The Wolf Pack. And two on two tornado tag. That's the teaser. Now, for the countdown to start the show. 15! Itchy! 414! 13! 12! 11! Ale! 10 Kemi! 9! Draco 8 effects! 7 the random guy! Aditya 7! 6 Samarins! Loudspeaker 215! Oh! I just pressed it! <laughs> oh! Whoops! As the uh, blue flames light up the arena to cook your cup noodles and all the noodles and spaghetti and ramen and everything. Like it's on my, what's on my head. Welcome to another. Superstars are jockey WRW, the fourth WRW of the new year, 2023. Broadcasting from Bakersfield, Canada. January 25th. One of the most anticipated episodes of Monday Night History of WWE. And what a lineup on this card, starting with a bang. This is all the makings of a legendary night. And like I said before, our first match, starting things off, it would have been a handicap tag match, but Christian Cool, the cool man Hart, came to Neckles Grand, the WRW champion's aid. And a tornado tag. And then for the second match, in submission, Fantasy Joker 99-4 to face, for the first time ever, having a match, Butt Spot. If you all don't know Buttspot, for example, when I stream on Twitch, it likes to rinify words, hence why it has on their chest, I love Rin. And then for the third match, taking place backstage in a hardcore match, Captain Semi Reskins. Versus Macho Mr. Green Pay, Greeny Savage. For the fourth match, an Iron Man match. After last week, when these two went, last went up against each other, when Izumi Noog and Slug Goku Black last went up, up each other, up against each other, Izumi Noog defeated Slug Goku Black and became number one contender. For a future title shot coming soon. 
but now also in an Iron Man match. But just like also how last week Captain Semi Reskin Semi Rested bested and beat, got their payback and revenge against Macho Mr. Greepay and Greedy Savage when they had handed them their second loss and got their 10th win. And now after, if you watch Ren XT, they're at 11 wins now. This could possibly be their 12th? For the fifth match, two on two tag team action as Team Knock Masters, SSJ Masters, and Calvinator Knock takes on and versus the tag team champions from last week Team King Light, King of Palanzi, and J Blue Spark and Light, the three time WRW tag team champions now in a normal tag team match, not for the championship. For the sixth match in triple threat. Triple threat action. Creamy 93, Green Chan, Little Mystics, Rivers, who won last week's triple threat match, and Evil the Random Girl, Evan's sister, all going up against each other. And then, for the main event, the seventh match Private Mini Wee versus Big T's homie, Django Markov. In a ladder match for another shot at getting money in the bank. Hopefully this time. Things will work out better for those who watch Ren XT. <laughs> for mini week. Anyway. With that being said. I hope you all enjoy all the exciting matches we have in store for tonight. Starting with the first match as they get everyone as the two teams, the two super, the superstars coming out for this tag team, tornado tag team match. Neko's Grim and Christian Cool, first time meant for teaming up versus the Wolf Pack, the Wolves of the Heidel, the NWO New Wolf Order. Aquarius Wolf, Aquarius the Wolfman, and Eve White Wolf. Ow! Ow! Did you know, Eve was the one who actually did my update and knocked his head? Fun fact. Coming up, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most chaotic contests in sports their entertainment. Entrance scenes right and it's right here, next, in a match of epic proportions. So since, like, Christian Cool and Nicholas Grimm have, are first time teaming up they're gonna come out separately and that goes grandma's entrance theme heretic mansion I like how that one has order execute order 66 K views like what This is loaded. Wait. Okay, there we go. Oh. Brit. Heart. Theme song. Cause Christian Cool, the Cool Man Heart of the Heart of the Cool Foundation. It's not the Heart Foundation for Christian Cool. It's the Cool Foundation. All rights go for the song. Go to the WWE. And 
since both Eve and Aquarius Wolf are coming out together because they're a, they're a team. NWL theme, Wolf Pack, no Wolf Order. No crowd noise. I feel like better too. Once I get the entrance theme prepared, I'll be ready to come out and do the countdown. Which, uh, let me do the yeah, actual proper countdown because I accidentally got it cut off when I pressed the button and started the show out of nowhere. Heather. Okay, the countdown, 15, itchy 414, 13, 12, 11, AL 10 Kemi, 9, Draco 8 effects, 7 the random guy, Aditya 7, 6 Samarins, loudspeaker 215, Final Fantasy Fangirl, Fantasy Joker 99.4, Creamy 93, Love Sammy 3, Sly Tuba, Game Raptor 1, Zlin Joker 0. Let's get ready to rainbow with the first match for the 4th WRW in this Tornado Tag Team action. Christian the Cool Man Hart teaming up, hanging in there with Neko's Grimm versus the Wolf Pack, New Wolf Order, Aquarius Wolf Man, and E White Wolf coming up next. Only on WRW. Oh, I forgot to pause. Making their way to the ring first. They are the WRW the champion for Wilburn Wrestling. Introducing first from the United States of America, weighing in at 300 pounds, the World Ring Wrestling Champion, the Necromancer. Lord Necros Grimcubus. Necro's Grim. Alright, that was Nichols Grimm coming out there 
tag team partner for tonight. Hey there, friend. Hang here while I wrestle and do my thing. Here comes Christian the Cool Man Hart for the Cool Foundation. The cool there is, the cool there was, and the coolest, the cool that ever will be. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, but I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. You know, maybe. Maybe the Cool Foundation should be an actual tag team formation or alliance on WRW. And coming out, and their opponent, representing the New Wolf Order, Wolf Pack. Oh! Aquarius Wolf. The strategist. What a great match we have here to start and off this night, guys. Eve. Michael, I had to check twice. White Wolf. Oh! I mean, it could Fellow PNG well VTuber. Cute. Cute. PNG VTuber. Artist. Genshin Impactor. Eve Shen Wolfpack. Well, their entrance was pretty short. But anyway. They're both in the ring now. That bell's rung. He's, a proud guy. he's taking that the fight to Necrosgram. Christian taking the fight to Aquarius. Oh my God, Eve with the clothesline to Necrosgram. Christian with the fireman's carry on Aquarius. Eve turning their attention to Christian Cool. Nichols going with the backbreaker on Aquarius Wolf. Eve countering, fighting back against Christian. Eve with the clothesline, taking Christian down. Nichols Grimm putting Aquarius Wolf in the corner. Eve throwing Christian over the top rope. Nichols Grimm. Hanging a chorus wolf upside down on the turnbuckle. And then a nice, and then a stomp and choke. Nichols Grimm going for the pin on the Curious. Curious gets the kick out. Just one count, still too early. This was originally going to be New Move Order trying to target the WRW champion as a handicap match, but. Christian Cool came to his aid. And also with my help. Nichols Grimm hitting Aquarius Wolf with a suplex. Christian bringing Eve White back into the ring. Eve White Wolf. Aquarius throwing Nichols Grimm over the top rope. Christian throwing Eve over the top rope. Aquarius. Bringing Nichols Grimm back in the ring. Christian targeting Eve. Cool sliding Eve against the nail table. Eve fighting back. Nichols Grimm fighting back against Aquarius. Nichols Grimm throws Aquarius to the turnbuckle. Aquarius dodges that with quick reflexes. Oh. He's not looking good here. And his hopes of winning this match appear to be jiggling in a hurry. Christian with the arm drag on Eve. Aquarius with the punches, takedown on Nichols. Aquarius throws Nichols Grimm to the turnbuckle, then clotheslines them in the back. Smashes their arm against the mat. Aquarius taunting to get the momentum up. Back in for counter here. 
Like Deku's Grim fighting back. Christian bringing E back to the ring. E fighting back against Christian. Aquarius with the shoulder tackle taking no Necro's Grim down. Eve with the alley power powerbomb off the turnbuckle to Christian. Cool. Great job escaping, trying to turn this Nich around. Nichols Graham shoves Aquarius down. Oh Eve off the ropes with the drop kick to Christian Cool. Aquarius Wolf with the backbreaker on Nichols Grimm. Christian with the strike taking Eve out. Eve rolls out to the outside. Aquarius Wolf going for a roll up pin, but Christian Cool is right there to break it up. Christian throws Aquarius over the top rope. Eve takes out Necros Grimm as they were like taunting on the turnbuckle. Necros with the fireman's carry. Christian with the inverted DDT to Aquarius. Eve with the wolf paw slap takedown. The twisting net breaker as well on Necros Grimm. Oh, Eve locking in the head scissors. Aquarius with a clothesline on Christian. Necro's Grim battling back. No, he reverses it. Beautiful technique. Eve dodges that hit from Necro's Grim. Picks up Necro's Grim over their shoulder for a flapjack. That goes Grim with the counter, throwing, tossing Eve over their shoulder. Then the step over their chest. Oh. Eve battling back. Eve with the gut buster to Neckles Grim. Aquarius Wolf and Christian back in the ring. Christian Cool with the back suplex to Aquarius. Eve with the jawbreaker counter on Neckles Grim. Oh! Neckles Grim hitting Eve with what looked like to be like the rock bottom or the Grim bottom. Neckles Grim with the clothesline. Neckles Grim off the ropes with the clothesline. Christian going for the pin on Aquarius. Aquarius gets the kick out, shoulder up. Eve with the jawbreaker fighting back against Necros Grimm. Aquarius turning things around against Christian. Necros Grimm with the gut buster to Eve. Christian managed to get out of that grapple. Christian with the full Nelson suplex. Necro's Grim tries to go for the pin on Eve. Get, Eve gets the kick out. Here he goes. Christian setting up. Picking. Power bombing Aquarius Wolf to the mat. Into a pin. And getting the three count off the power bomb. That cool bomb. Cool power bomb. Christian cool winning it for Necro's Grim. And here's another pick of the Perhaps the, the first of a beautiful new tag team. GG's and GG's to the Wolfpack, Aquarius Wolf and E White Wolf of New Wolf Order. He's getting it done here. Congratulations to Neckos Grim and Christian Cool for winning the first match together for your first ever tag team team up. The quote, Christian Cool, for their win. Shepard, why won't you play with me?
here tonight. If that's just, the type of action we're going to get all the time. Shepard, I can't wait to see the rest why of the won't report. you play with Plenty me? Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Congratulations. Your winner of the first match goes to Team Necrol's Cool. Christian Grimm. Congratulations, Christian Cool and Necros Grimm for hanging in there and doing your thing and winning your first tag team match together. Perhaps the first of many. The beginning of a beautiful tag team partnership. And everything. I hope you all enjoyed that first match. Let's get ready and head on over to the second match coming up. Coming up shortly is what should be an incredible So up next, encounter. this is going to be a we fun one. one the best talents on the roster today. Joker 1994 in a submission. One of these superstars is going to have tap to out match where you can only make the other superstar tap out. No pinfalls, just submission moves. Versus their first time having a, their debut match. My butt spot from Twitch who rindifies words. Or as if you all know Buttspot, a lot of Twitch streamers have Buttspot, and you can customize it to ha make it have any message you want. Mine loves Rin, Rinifies words. So this is going to be interesting. Fantasy Joker fighting a butt. Joker versus a butt. Let's get that Joker's entrance team. And I have the perfect entrance team picked out for Butt Spot that I already looked up. Since this is also a superstar of my own creation, that I decided, you know what? I thought I thought I'd make just for fun, make a wrestler for Butt Spot since Butt Spot is a the thing. Very active chatter in terms of ridifying or changing up words for people who chat, you know? So this is the song that we're gonna use that's basically their entrance theme. Joker's entrance theme. Okay. Time for the... Both superstars are ready to come out. Time for the countdown. For this, uh... Lovely submission match. Here on WRW, the 4th WRW. 15, 14, itchy, f wait, itchy 4, 14, 13, 12, 11, AL 10 Kimmy, 9, Draco 8 effects, 7 the random guy, Aditya 7, 6 Samarins, loudspeaker 215, Final Fantasy Fangirl, Phantom Thief Joker 994, Creamy 93, Love Sammy 3, Slay Tuba, Game Raptor 1, Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to Rin Bowl with the second match for the 4th WRW. Phantom Thief Joker 1994 versus Butt Spot in a submission tap out match coming up next only on WRW.
making their way to the ring first. Stylish as always. So fast, so fine. Here it comes. The leader of the Den of Thieves. My twin. Sounds to me, guys. Fellow like Joker. Ready to get on the hideout. They're not the only ones. Fat Depth Thief Joker. 1994. Nothing more than to get their hands on one another. Woo! Looking cool, Joker. Their engine thing comes up really fast. Is Joker ready to fight a butt? Glorious! How can this glorious? Victorious! That! Say hello to the one, the only, Butt Spot! And this Butt Spot loves Rin. To renify words. They'll renify. Perhaps they'll renify Fantasy Joker 1994 too. Yeah. I think it was perfectly fitting to give them Bobby Rude's entrance. Or should I say. One on one action on the way. This one should be nothing short of amazing. Rude. I don't doubt that for a moment, Mike. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. Body? But including butt spot. But are so much fun. What's about my far on Joker? <laughs> Alright, both superstars are in the ring. What's about looking happy? And we're underway. What's about trying to start things off? But Joker backs up out of that. One -on -one Goes for a guys, flying punch. Submission match ever Miss, since it was doesn't announced. manage to phase him. Phase butt spot the first time, gets it the second time, takes him down. Thunderous Joker with slam. that thunderous power slam on the butt spot. The, oh, oh my goodness. Slamming the arm against the mat as well. What a stop. Oh, so by the way, butt spot is orange because basically their color code is orange. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Butt spot taking a breather outside. Coming back in. Buttspot with them picking Joker up for the military press slam. Ooh. The Joker with the with the belly the back suplex. Buttspot fighting back. Buttspot hitting Joker with the clothesline. Butt spot with the belly to belly, or should I say the butts to butt? <laughs> Joker with the jawbreaker to butt spot. He's not looking like himself here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected. Butt spot with the suplex to Joker. When we talk about submission matches, we have to speak about one that, in many people's eyes, Joker with the arm the drag, fighting back. WrestleMania 13. Brett the Hitman Hart was in a Remember, this is only a submission match. No pinfalls. So that whittle down their opponent, like make no them weak, so they can match with the two work, work on, on a certain crowd, area to try and make a tap. To use ring steps as a weapon. What's oh, what? Hanging Joker upside Bobby down on the turnbuckle. Then choke, choke putting their boot against their throat with a choke. What's what? Locking in Camel Clutch. Whoa, Joker gets seven. free. He's at another level right now, Michael. Just a step, it looks like. What's about fighting back? 
Joker slips out of that grapple from Buttspot. Tries to go for a flying clothesline. Buttspot dodges under it. And there's his speed paying off. Strikes Joker into the corner. This Joker turning that around. And it's reversed. Well, Joker dodging Buttspot. Picking Buttspot up. Power Lightning slamming him to the mat. Reflexes. Just like earlier. Uh -oh. <laughs> Joker with the surprise phantom punch out of nowhere. One of the greatest strikers taking Buzz right down. Now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Wow, I thought he was a god. But but gets countered by Joker. Joker fighting back. Joker twisting up the arm. No way. Buttspot fighting back though. Right, would you like how I put Buttspot on his butt? <laughs> Buttspot hitting Joker with a Samoan drop. He's looking a little off balance. This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. I know he's not looking very good right, right now. On the, right on Joker's butt. I can't imagine a scenario where he would submit. He just doesn't seem to know the word. Oh, Joker throwing Buttspot into the ropes. That's setting up for the, the 1994. He looks absolutely exhausted. This is clearly not the Ooh, that last hit might have hit Buttspot really hard, I think. Boy, They're bleeding? Point, Ooh, tries to go for the, the Phantom speed, Splash. To get back in this but Buttspot brings up those knees on the hitting the abs. Doing some damage there. Buttspot now with a another Samoan drop to Joker. When this guy's on, look out. Butt spot with the the headlock locked in on Joker, trying to make them tap for the by the neck. By the looks of it, there that's the target. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars Targeting are the on head. their last legs here. Butt spot, let's go. Joker does He's not, not going give to in. Go quietly. No superstar wins his Joker with the eye rake oh tries to come up with that. Phantom punch. Oh Kid looks like he came up short. He had nothing left. Buttspot picks Joker up, hits him with the backbreaker. I think we know what this is. Buttspot with the head, with the this with the, the crank, with the grip the on the shoulder. Breaks free. Nice, but he Joker has breaks free with the leg sweep. Buttspot the counter. Buttspot slapping that phantom punch out of Joker's hand. Now that's a takedown. Harsh impact. Buttspot with that big stomp to the face. Oh, Buttspot just is doing the uh, the She-Hulk twerk. Back flip, butt splash. Buttspot locked in with the camel clutch. Joker break three. got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Buttspot with the counter. Joker dodges the clothesline. Joker hits Buttspot with the clothesline. Buttspot battling back. Throwing Joker to the corner. Joker with the boot to the face. Then the clothesline to the back of the head. He can't afford to be horizontal at this point in the match. Ooh! Joker with the phantom punch. I think that was the phantom punch. Joker locking in the single leg camel clutch. Is he done? Joker makes butt spot tap out to a single leg camel clutch. Joker makes butt spot tap out. Joker does not get beat then by the butts today. So GG's to butt spot for their first debut match. They fought. Exceptionally well, I'd say. But Fantasy Joker is just fought so much better. Congratulations, Joker. See the Ritz replay highlights man, for stuff oh like the surprise Phantom Punch coming up this short. Or Butt Spot moment. with their twerking She Hulk dance into the Butt Spot backflip splash. Moonsault. And here's a last look at this one. Or like literally Moonsault, because Butt Spot's mooning them. There's the one that there's the that did it. 
Butt Spot had enough at that, that point. Here is your winner, the Phantom. Your Thank winner you on the second the match yeah, goes to Phantom Thief tonight, Joker 1994. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Congratulations, Joker. You earned it, bud. GG is the butt spot. You fought well. Tough opponent. But Joker prevailed in the end. I hope you all enjoyed that lovely second match. I certainly did. I'm watching, commentating for it. It was, it was epic. And now, but that was just the second match. Let's head on over as things getting ready for the third match coming up next. So don't go anywhere yet. As a up next for the third match. Coming up next is a battle that can end up in places no one knew existed in this building. Which is going to be basically a rivalry breakout fight breaking out against an backstage. Adversary. Hardcore hardcore match backstage breaking out between these two superstars. Especially since after last week. After they had their Iron, match, Iron Man match last week and Captain Semi Reskins bested and beat Macho Mista, Green Pay, Greeny Savage to get their revenge after Green Pay had handed Semi their second loss. But then Semi came back and got their 10th win. Now they're on 11th. So tonight, let's see in this whether Semi will continue that and get their 12th win or will Green Pay hand them their third loss. You know, the last time Captain Semi Reskins had a backstage. Brawl Hardcore match, by the way. It was against the one and only amazing Spider-Man. And he kind of left Spider-Man in my office. With a broken back. And I had to give him a back massage. If everyone's seen, if anyone's seen Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, he, had a, he, got, he, got half, he had a nice back massage after. Well, so this is, since this is happening backstage, they're, no, they're not coming out to the ring, which means there will be no entrance teams. So I'll just be doing the countdown to see what ha what's happening backstage. So let's count down. 15, Itchy, 414, 13, 12, 11, Ayo, 10 Kemi, 9, Draco 8 effects, 7 the random guy, Aditya 7. Six Semarin. Loudseeker 215. Final Fantasy Fangirl. Phantom Team Joker 99.4. Creamy 93. Love 73. Slay Tuba. Game Raptor 1. Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to Rinbo with the third match for the fourth WRW of 2023. January 25th. With this hardcore backstage brawl happening backstage between Captain Semi Reskin, Semi Rested, and Macho Mr. Green Pay, Greeny Savage, coming up next only on WRW. As a. Uh, looks like. Shoot! PS Remote Play having some problems right here. That. 
basically what happened was, because like, so originally PS4 Moplay was acting up, but basically what happened was, Greenplay showed up, confronted Captain Simon Reskins backstage, and attacked them. And here we are, Greenplay hitting Semi with a suplex. Misses with that flying neckbreaker. I don't know what like Green Bay completely missed Semi there. Semi with the inverted DDT. Green Bay battling back. Semi fighting back, throwing Green Bay down the hallway. Green Bay trying to get up, Semi stomps down. Semi hitting Green Bay with the belly to belly. Semi grabs hold of Green Bay. Dragging him, throwing him further down the hallway. Oh no, no, doesn't stop there. Green Bay turning him around, grabbing hold of Semi. Semi fighting back. Oh. Semi with the elbow to the face. Green Pay locking up. He's starting to Semi fighting away. back. Well, he knew this was gonna These two are just going back and forth. Green Pay so grabbing hold of Semi. Right now, and it's almost impossible to pick a winner. Green Pay throwing Semi down, down the hallway. The action. Uh, completely missing that senton splash. I don't know where Green Bay was. Whoa! Macho Mr. Green Bay Savage with the with the green mist! Whoa! Spreading that green, spreading the green in Semi's face. I mean, this is backstage hardcore, anything can happen. There's no there's no rules after all. This is backstage. Oh! Semi grabbing the chair! Getting some payback! After getting sprayed, having green sprayed in the face! Semi with the chair! Oh my gosh! That chair shot! Oh, picking the chair back up, I guess, uh, saying that, you know what, Green Bay, you haven't had enough. Oh, never mind. He got throws the chair back down. Oh, Semi hitting Green Bay with the backbreaker. Right to the spine. What a spine. Head scissors in the strike. Look out, look out. Semi with the standing. Like shooting semi press. <laughs> Throwing Green Bay into the wall. He's making a statement here. It's like here, attack. this platform nine three quarters. Why don't you go to it? He's fighting back here. Right? Semi Starting with the arm drag. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Semi battling back. Oh, Semi smashing Green Bay against the uh, chest compartment. And once again, throwing them into nine and three quarters or that, uh, no, the power voltage box. Careful, hey, danger, danger. Authorized personnel only. Don't hit, it might cause a blackout. Semi just staring, semi just staring at Day's Green Pay right now. Oh, he was just waiting for it. The Semitude Restment. Semi ending Green Pay right then and there. In the hallway with the Semitu Restman. Congratulations, Captain Semi Reskins. Getting some more revenge and payback to Green Bay, handing them the second loss by getting their 12th win. 12 wins, two losses. You see that their win streak is still pretty much. Their uh, wins to loss ratio is still very high. GG's to get Macho Mr. Green Bay Savage. For that fight backstage, you know it didn't work out and you couldn't get a chance to teach Semi a lesson and Semi instead taught you a lesson. Congratulations Captain Semi Reskins for winning the third match in this hardcore backstage brawl match.
the speed shot. Did I take a screenshot? But sweet. It was just a backstage brawl hardcore match. I hope you all enjoyed that though. Really cool. Let's get ready to go to the fourth match. Back to happening in the ring. Coming up next. What we have coming up is sure to be an amazing physical contest. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date. Taking on some. After, la after last week, when Izumi knew Izumrin. Bested and beat. Slight Goku Black, Body Wrist, Slight Taba. In the ladder match for number one contender, getting the number one contender spot. Looks like I think a rivalry is brewing between these two as Slight Goku Black decided to come back for more and get to try and get some revenge and maybe shatter Izumi Nuke's dreams. Or we'll find out in this Iron Man match. Hopefully it won't be like what happened on Min XT and not end up in Oh you know. Let me get everyone let me get their entrance scenes ready. Entrance team for Zumi Nook. Time for the countdown. Both Avenger teams are set up and ready. Both superstars are ready to come out. Time for the count. 15. Ichi 414. 13. 12. 11. Ayo 10 Kemi. 9. Draco 8 effects. 7 the random guy. Aditya 7. 6 Samarins. Loudspeaker 215. Final Fantasy Fangirl. Fantasy Joker 994. Green Me 93, Love 73, Slide Tuba, Game Raptor 1, Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to rainbow with the fourth match for the fourth WRW. Coming up next with this Iron Man match between Azum Rin Azumi Noob versus Slay Goku Black Bloody Wrist Slay Tama. Coming up next, only on. WRW
Where's this going? Making his way to the ring first. Whoa, wait, what? Psycho Duplex already attacking Izumi Noon. The referee needs to get control of this. Yeah, that didn't take long. Azumi Noon. Psycho Duplex decided to not wait. Starting this match now on the ramp. And so we knew hitting Psycho Black with the deep DDT. Psycho Black with the arm drag. Oh, camera. Cameraman, why are you. Zumi trying to run to the ring. Well, that makes things easier. Also, once again, you'll never see it coming. I know I didn't see that coming. Psycho Go Black didn't want to wait. Fast for eyes, you're done in. By the time it hits you, your sleigh surprise attack. At the start of the match, it's like Uncle Black with the headlock locked in on the zoom in. So we're trying to break free. Let me back up to their feet. Irish whips. It's like Uncle Black to the corner. Misses with that shoulder tackle as Slay dodges it. Hits Izumi with the back suplex. Oh, what's going on? That was interesting. Why did we go to look to the ground? Drop down. Drop down. Oh, Azumi fighting back. Azumi throwing Slade to the corner. Once again, Slade getting out of that. Slade slamming Azumi's face against the turnbuckle repeatedly. Ooh, 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 ah. Ah, what? Ah, oh, dang. You have to wonder if he could recover from this Zoom guy. Zoomy. He's really starting you okay? to look fatigued here, guys. When that happens, your whole body starts to give out. Here's Psycho Go Black going for the pin. And Zoomy getting that kick out. And Zoomy hitting that back suplex against Slay. You gotta believe this one's over. Showing some thickness there. Psycho Go Black with the clothesline to Azumi over the top rope. Oh, there is counter. Psycho Go Black throwing Azumi back into the ring. And Azumi with the arm drag. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one on one atmosphere where he thrives. And Azumi hitting Slay with the suplex. It just goes along with the territory. And he knows that. I doubt he's all that Woo! The good news for him is that his opponent is likely packed on the top turnbuckle. Considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier, looking to hunt for a high flying oh, drop kick, but Slay oh, manages to counter and dodge it. Azumi going with the arm side. drag. Slay battling back. Oh, oh Slay picking Azumi up for the. Super Saiyan He's got the shoulders driver going for the pin. That would have been able to kick out of that. So resourceful. Only getting a two count is Azumi managed to Beautiful kick out. Technique. Great job escaping. Trying Azumi to fighting back, around. breaking free. Psycho so Black with the flapjack on the top well, rope to Azumi. Azumi hitting Slay with the DDT. Slay with the Bulldog. Going for the pin. Azumi getting the kick out. Zumi fighting back. Hit Slay with me. Oh, 
Slay with the punch to Izumi, which I think that, la that, that hit busted them open with that. I think Izumi's bleeding. Well, Izumi managed to hit Slay with the clothesline. Hack take that. Izumi with the head crank. Talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. Slay fighting back. Like Slay fighting back. Larry, Zoom me with a clothesline, Larry. Man, he was making it look easy there for him. Slay with the jawbreaker. Slay working on that leg. Slay picking Izumi up for the Super Saiyan driver. From behind. Wow, what a pretty performance. With the pretty boy. The pretty boy noob. Going up to the top turnbuckle. Waiting for Slade to get up. And hitting them with the Izumi Azumarana. Azumi knew it getting the first pin. What about like almost like nine minutes with nine minutes on the clock? Slay throwing Zumi into the corner. Zumi fighting back with the hitting the Slay with the elbow. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared. Zumi really showing that how he's number one contender after last week. Oh no way! Oh Slay Goku Black setting him up for the Super Saiyan Rose kick the shatters Zumi Rin's dreams. Oh, Slay Goku Black just shattered the Zoom Ring Dweems. Going for the pin. Azumi getting the shoulder up. Looks like Slay Goku Black failed to shatter all of, all of Azumi's Dweems. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, right to the back. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Azumi with the arm drag. He's looking banged up here, guys. Slay fighting back. To get even worse. Azumi hitting Slay with the target. The nuke shot? I can't remember all of Azumi's moves that game. I think that was the complete shot, which is why I'm gonna call it a nuke shot. Azumi fighting back. Zumi with the power slam to Slay. So far, Zumi News got the one pin against Slay. Azumi with the. With the grip choke slam from the mat, picking them up, then slamming them down. That's the uh, the Izumi Unite Dunk Special. That's why that's the moves he learned from playing Pokemon Unite. Zumi hitting Slay with the suplex. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Azumi looking to hot. 
once again on the top turnbuckle for a high flying five star nuke splash. You know the kite, there's something of a the frog ninja, right? You know they use a good ninja. Five star frog splash. Managers get that two point pin. Sumi's got two points against Slay. They got like six minutes, 40 left on the clock. Slay throwing Izumi into the corner. Izumi fighting back. Izumi hitting Slay with the DDT. Izumi once again on the top turnbuckle. Just uh. Taking a mounted position, waiting. Incoming. Diving elbow drop, goes for it, hits just the mat. Slay uses that opportunity. Oh, look at the blood on Slay's face right now. Bounces Izumi off guys, the ropes. It's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. Oh, turn down the lights, kick everybody out. Slay hitting. Izumi with a Super Saiyan driver. Slay getting that first pin. They still have lots, lots of catching up to do. Oh, is this gonna end? The, this is not gonna. I mean, Slay gets a second. Slay with the flying Larry clothesline to Izumi. Oh, Slay with the Bulldog off the turnbuckle to Izumi. Talk about having the living hell beat out of you. Tonight may not be as tight, guys. At this point, he's risking serious injury by continuing. I mean, he's getting absolutely torn apart in there. This game is some extra leverage here. Concern for the rules. Slay using those, he needs to using those ropes as leverage for that guys. pin, but Izumi managed to get the kick out. Izumi turning things around against Slay. A step over. What a strike. Ooh. Back kick strike by Slay to Izumi. We're getting ever so close to the end of this Iron Man match, and what a match it's been up to this point. Oh, Azumi with the counter line. punching Slay in the groin. Slay battling back. Slay picking Azumi up for another Super Saiyan driver. Reverted DDT. To win this thing. You'd think one of these Super Saiyan reverted DDT. What the commentator called him. Oh, Slay back flips out of Nizumi's grapple, hits him with the flying clothesline. Nizumi on the outside. Slay comes out. Slay smashes Nizumi's face against the apron. You know, what a battle this has been. I mean, these men have absolutely destroyed each other over the Slay picks up Azumi. Oh, so Azumi with the inverted DDT counter, oh boy, turning things boy. around. Getting back in the ring. Taunting to get the momentum up. What a battle this has been. I mean, these men have absolutely destroyed each other and over the course of this match, and there, there's still some time left on the clock. Slay hitting the fireman's carry on Azumi. We got three minutes left on the clock. I believe that Slay's got the one point. Azumi's got two points. Oh. What the? 
Guess we're more play lagging. Yes, I'm hopefully lagging. One moment. Wonder why that is. Okay, it should be back now. It should be fine. Five, four, three, two, one, on pausing. Quick. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. Zooming with the light trip to slay. How long can they keep this up? How long can they keep up this pace in an Iron Man match? Zumi with Slay with the clothesline. Kick to Zumi. Oh, two minutes left on the clock. Slay's only got the one point. And Zumi has the two points. When this guy's on, look out. Azumi with the arm drag counter. Showing off some of his speed there. Slay fighting back with the strikes. Azumi fighting back. Two minutes left on the clock. Slay with the back kick. Zumi trying to pick himself up. Slay grabs hold of him. Drags him over. Throws him into the turnbuckle. And Zumi with the boot to the face. Slay catches the leg. Hits him with the clothesline. Slay with the slap to the face. Slay with the slaying neckbreaker. Throwing them to the corner. Azumi with the boot to the face. Slay once again throwing Azumi to the corner. One minute left on the clock. Is Slay get the pin here? Oh, setting up Azumi for the Super Saiyan Rose shattering Dweem's kick. I'm not sure I want to watch this. To shatter Azumi's Dweem's. Oh, nasty. Ooh. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him? Oh, this Slay pins here. 35 seconds left on the clock. That means this is going to be tight. That means. One, two. Oh, Azumi getting that shoulder up. Not. Letting their dreams get shattered by the Super Saiyan Rose kick. Azumi with the jailbreaker. 15 seconds left on the clock. He's looking at it. Slay Goku Black just putting Azumi into a single leg crab to try and make them tap out. Tapping out. Submission moves do count two. Azumi breaks free. Three seconds left on the clock. Azumi Nuke is the winner with two pins. With Slay Goku Black only getting the one pin. Congratulations, Azumi and Azumi Nuke, for winning the fourth match for the fourth WRW. In this exceptionally very well, awesome hype Iron Man match. That this time actually ended in a winner. <laughs> See the rinse and replay highlights. Look at him go. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Your winner of the Kicking fourth the match, I see you, Izumi Nu, Azumarin. Just like last goes, week, once again, back-to-back -back wins on Slay Goku Black. Slay Goku Black is probably furious. 
But GG's though to them. They did manage to get a pin during this Iron Man match. They fought really well. Congratulations, Azumi Nuke, for winning the match. Hope you all enjoyed this awesome hype match between these two superstars. Rivaling out as they basically become enemies of each other. Hope you all enjoyed the fourth match. There's still more to come. So let's get ready to head on over to our next match of the fourth WRW. Next superstar is coming out now. So it's coming up next. We've got tag team action once again as Team Knock Masters, SSJ Masters, and Calvinator Knocked. Come on out to face the three time tag team WRW tag team champions, Team King Light, King of Alonzi, and Jay Blue Spark and Light in a non championship match. This is not for the title. After all, because this is not me. Let me set up their entrance team. Alright, entry scenes are ready. Time for the come out. For the countdown. 15! Itchy! 414! 13! 12! 11! Ayo! 10 Kemi! 9! Draco 8 effects! Seven the random guy. A ditch of seven. Six Samarins. Loudspeaker 215. Final Fantasy Fangirl. Fantasy Joker 994. Green Me 93. Love Semi 3. Slay Tuba. Game Raptor 1. Lynn Joker 0. Let's get ready to rainbow with the. Fifth match for the fourth WRW of 2023. Team Knock Masters, SSJ Masters, and Calvin Air Knock versus King Lapalanzi and J Blue Spartan Light. Team King Light coming up next only on WRW. Oh!
Wait a minute. From the North Pole, weighing in at one hundred. Why King of Balan to come out separately? One half. Now look at this. Uh oh. Oh, Big T. Wait, what? Big T! Big T with a surprise attack on King of Balanzi! What? I never s You'll never see it coming! You'll see that Big T's mind is too fast for us! And done in! By the time it hits you, your Big T's surprise attack! Surprise! Ooh! King up with a suplex trying to defend himself! The Big T! Big T challenging the king, trying to break some legs, hitting King up with the twisted neck breaker. What's gonna happen here? Oh, Big T with the back breaker. It looks like the winner actually goes to the lineage, the alliance of the lineage. Big T, the muscle, just broke King Le The rest of the card should be it's back and legs. As as the last match too. Triple the fun. I never saw that coming. Action. Next. Surprise attack assault. Interrupted the fifth match. What are the odds? I mean, we've had surprise attack assaults happen before, but. I never thought Big T would come out out to attack King of Alonzi, unless it has something to do with the fact that they're tag team champions. Have to take a screenshot of that. Well then, since Big T also was the one who bested and beat down King of Alonzi. They also, I guess, technically lost. Though Team Knock Masters also did not get to compete. Messing up the match. Quite the surprise and upset. I guess perhaps now there might be a ri there might be a rivalry and stuff forming now with King of Alonzi and Big T plays games. Well then, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. You'll never see a coming surprise attack assault. I certainly did. Well, anyway then. Let's get ready for our sixth match then. The fifth match got called on the count of Big T break some legs game. He just broke the king. He just challenged the king. Perhaps Big T wants to become king. So now, instead, coming up next, getting ready is our sixth match superstars of Greenie ninety three Green Chan. Mystics, River, Little Mystics, who won the triple threat match last week's WRW, and Eve the Random Girl. Let me get into some journey. Creamy93 loves this song. Oh, there's actually a TikTok right here. You know what? Let's use that. I whip my hair back. I feel like, cause like this is Creamy 93's raid song. Whenever they get it raided, this is the song that you'll hear. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Holy yeah. pop song. Little Mystics entrance theme. Just get that.
Yeah, this is what I used last time for Eva the Random Girl. Okay. Enter teams are ready and prepped. Let me pause this. Let me count down to the. For the sixth match, since the fifth match didn't exactly get to officially happen, <laughs> on account of Big T, <laughs> broke some legs. It broke some, some WRW. Quite a hot, fun surprise. I never saw it coming. You'll never see it coming. I think Big T learned from me <laughs> to be to always be a surprise. Big T surprise game. Like that. Fifteen. Itchy, 414, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, I mean, wait, AL 10 Kemi, 9, Draco 8 effects, 7 the random guy, Aditya 7, 6 Samarins, Loudspeaker 215, Final Fantasy Fangirl, Fantasy Joker 1994, Creamy 93, who's in the match, Love 73, Slay Tuba, Game Raptor 1, Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to rainbow with this six match triple threat match between Greamy93 Green Chan versus Little Mystics River versus Evil the Random Girl. Coming up next, only on WRW. January 25th. Making their way to the ring first. Whooping their hair back and forth. The best Hoopa. Eldegoss. A Pokemon Unite. And everything. Lovely fellow PNG VTuber. Guys, while exciting, we Green have to remember 93, that Green 93, Green Chan in the house. Dangerous, especially Dog. when a two-on-one attack takes place, which is inevitably going to happen at some point here tonight, Michael. Game 93 has been a former WRW Women's Champion. Now coming out next, the second opponent to this triple threat match. The winner of the last of last week's triple threat match. Little Mystics River. Mystics River. Another beautiful VTuber. Great big name set to do battle here tonight, guys, in this triple threat match. You're right, Michael. It doesn't get much bigger than this. And judging from the crowd reaction, they completely agree with us. And making their way to the ring next, the third opponent for this triple threat match. Evans, Devious, and Dashley's sister. Incoming on in, incoming. 
Eva, the random girl. Expect here tonight in this triple threat match. When it comes to triple threats, Michael, you really have to expect the unexpected. Adding that third superstar to the fray really does add a level of intrigue that just can't be found in a traditional one-on-one -on -one match. All superstars are in the ring. Match can start. The bell rings. Creamy 93 is starting things here. off with a drop kick to the knee, me, but it came up short. One has what it takes to be right up there with some of the great Eva showing Green Channel how it's past. done by drop kicking we saw at Mystics in the 30. knees. Green Chan with the I mean, no not uh, Eva with the crossbody that hits both Mystics and Green Chan. Green though with Green Chan with the collision on the splash. Drop kick. What's the close line? Evil with the slap. Slapping Green into the corner. Mystics taunting on at her turnbuckle. Woo! The chops by Eva. Mystics interrupting. Taking the fight to Eva. Mystics with a slam the Eva down to the mat. Then Mystics now hitting Green Chan with the belly to belly. You're in the ring with two on the roster. You're gonna take a few lumps. That's just the way it is. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road. Evil of the Dragon Screw. What a strike! Right on the mark. Green fighting back. Green shot taking out Eva as Eva goes rolling, random rolling out of the ring, turning their attention down to Mystics. Green shot with the takedown on Mystics. Mystics though with the fireman's carry counter, turning things around. Then the elbow drop. Yeah, but I wouldn't counter out yet. Any one of these three will win this match. Yeah, Mystics putting Green Chan on the turnbuckle. Eva come back in the, the ring. Tank. Green fighting back. Picture Green. Green kick. Chan hitting the drop kick awesome on Mystics. Oh, Eva though Thanks with the strike from behind into the pump handle backbreaker. Not surprising, Cole. When you're in the ring with two of the best women. Eva then with the spine buster to Mystics. That's just the way it is. Green Chan outside of the ring. Make sure not to absorb too much punishment here. If she wants to get counters before it's too late. I think she's Mystics with the counter. Eva with the single light crap on Mystics. Green Chan trying to break it up back in the ring. She escapes the submission. Mystics breaks free. Green Chan with the quick kicks to Mystics leg. Mystics still grabs the leg of Green. Puts Green Chan in the single leg crap. Eva with the drop kick. Tries to break the submission. Green Chan help on Eva's help breaks it free. Mystic gets taken out to the outside. Somehow one step ahead of each other. Green Chan throws Eva into the corner. She's looking at it. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone. Hits the end of Zagiri. Throws Green Chan to the other corner. Eva manages to dodge that one. Evil with a takedown to Green Chan. Looks like her chances of winning this match are starting to dwindle. She's absolutely off her game now, guys. You know, being in the ring with two other oh, women. Mystic's back in the ring. I just can't pick a winner at this point, guys. Any one of these women can take this thing. Mystic's setting up with Green Chan on the top turnbuckle for a superplex to the outside. Mystics grabbing hold of Eva on the outside. Eva fighting back, breaking free. She's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Eva throwing Mystics back in the ring. Green Chan getting back up. Now. 
Eva and Green Chan getting back up, back into the ring at the same time. Green Chan going for the drop kick to the knees. Eva and Green Chan goes back down. Green Chan rolls back outside. She's starting to stumble a bit. I can tell you that this is not how she envisioned this triple threat. Eva making mystics taste the end of their boot with the Eva defeat. She's clearly not getting paid by the hour. Eva going for the pin. Mystics gets the shoulder up. Take more than that. Oh, oh man, that's just nasty. Eva gets out of that one. Hits Mystics with a back suplex. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. King Chan comes back in, takes out Mystics, throws Eva over the top rope. Decides to go back into the ring, targeting Mystics. They want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets serious. Green Chan going for the pin. She's not going away yet. No, not yet. Too early. What a stop! Look at this. Green Chan setting up Eva for the Glam Sam, the Green Glam Sam. Slamming Eva down to the ring. But Mystic stole with the Mystical River slam. Can she end it here? And the counts Eva tries to get the pin. Breaks it up. Mystic breaks it up. Stomps on Green Chan's arm. Mystic's off the ropes with the diving, with the sh flying shoulder tackle. And again. She's on a roll right then here. slamming Eva down to the mat as Eva goes random rolling out of the ring. Mystics goes she for the pin on the Green Chan. Down deep and gets Green Chan the gets the shoulder up. She's still in this one. Green Chan with the she may very well have reached the point of no return. The big last slam thing she wants to be a target in this match, but unfortunately for her, that's exactly what she's become. Mystics, Green Chan now just standing over Mystics, not doing anything. We're looking at wondering what to do next. Domination here. Eva back in the ring. Eva takes a advantage. Green Chan fighting, fighting back. And it's reversed. No, she's Eve with the counters oh. though. Slams Green Chan back down the mat as they roll out to the outside. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Mystics with the eye rip to Eva to the ropes. Go. And the tackle. Goes for the pin. Eva gets the shoulder up. If that was it. Wow. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Oh, right to the Mystics back. with the, the mystical, the, the mystic tood. River, Riverman. Riverman. Yeah. Green Jam with the dive. Coming back in. Green Chan comes back in to steal the pin on Eva. So Green Chan will have to keep trying as Eva gets the shoulder up. So Green Chan setting up. But then now they see Mystics getting back up as Eva rolls out to the outside. Mystics picking up Green Chan to a power up. Oh no! Mi Green Chan rolls it up into a pin of a counter. Mystics gets the kick out. Rolls out to the outside. Green Chan going for the Nico Nico knees. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. 
Throws like Mystics back in the ring. Inside the ring. Eva slowly getting back up their feet though. Dream Time going for a pin. Eva back in the ring. Eva breaks it up. Eva grabs hold of Green Chan, picks him up for a power bomb into a pin. Only two count, but turns into a Boston Crab. Wow, what's it going to take? Green Chan breaks free. Not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. And now that one's countered. Wow, that was impressive, Michael. Big reversal for her there. Eva fighting back against Mystics. Throwing them to the ropes. The Misses that drop kick as Mystics right. counters. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. She got her with a reversal. Headlock. Mystics with that headlock punch. Here's the cover for the win. Mystics goes for that pin. I can't believe she kicked out there. I think she's trying Eva to. Eva gets that shoulder up. And she goes down hard. I don't leave a mark. Oh man, she's rolling now. Mystics with the Take down on Green Chan. She goes for the cover. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. She reverses out of it. And not a second too. Oh. Green Chan tries to go for the green glam slam. No, Mystics counters it. Mystics with the clothesline. And again, unbelievable. You don't see that <laughs> Evil with the Eva defeat. Making Mystics taste the end of their boot. Eva going for the pin on Mystics. Mystics gets the shoulder up. Fighting back with the counter. Look at Mystics out. throws Evil over the top rope. And she's back in the ring now. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Escapes trouble there. We're all looking at complete domination here. Green Chan Mystics going at it. Mis Green Chan throws Mystics over to where Eva is. What a stop! Good I think this triple, like ma this triple threat match went on went on long as long as and to make up for the fact that the fifth match got sh cut short due to Big T's surprise attack. Mystics back in the Here ring, Green Chan back, back in, in. Eva coming back in as well. Mystics fighting back against Green. Mystics hits this Green Chan with the Lariat. The road for her. Green Chan with the Jawbreaker. There. Green Chan throwing Mystics into the corner. Time. Hits him with the Enzugiri. And then the uh... The cartwheel. Green splash. Eva with the wheel spin kick. Taking out Green Chan. Mystics with the leg sleep. Fighting back against Eva. Eva fighting back with the uppercut. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially Evil with the drop kick that's been delivered tonight. Mystics with the arm drag. This 
one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Look at her go. Mystics with the Irish whip the oh, Evo off the, the ropes. Eva going for the Nico Nico knee drop kick to the knee. She might not know where she is right now. Green Chen comes back in. Mystics with the judo throw to Eva over the shoulder. Green Chen with the glam green slam to Mystics. That's how Green Chan dunks in Pokemon Unite. Green Chan goes for the pin on Mystics. Mystics gets that shoulder up. Eva coming, hitting no one with that cross body. Hit nothing but air. What a match this has been, guys. Green Chan with Eva. Like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. Eva. Inverted suplex. Forward suplex. I've seen countless triple threat Green matches over the years, and Messick I can to the corner. say that this one ranks right up there with some of the all-time best. Green Chan with Mystics on the top turnbuckle. Hang up for a superplex to the outside. Crowd chanting, this is awesome. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. She is on fire. Mystics with the swinging DDT counter to, to Eva. Eva with the arm drag. Green Champ back in the ring. Eva interrupts that. Mystics goes out to the outside. Eva with the tornado DDT off the turnbuckle. Green Champ battling back. Eva fighting back. Oh, e Green Chan decided to lie down. Were they giving up? Eva setting up for the knee, the knee to clothesline. The random knee and clothesline. Going for the pin, Eva the random girl getting the pin over Green Chan. Green 93 winning the triple threat match. Oh, Evan the random guy is probably not going to like Seeing their now sister win this. Some of the highlights. See the rich replay highlights for the sixth match. This part very well. Look at her go. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here's your winner of the six match triple threat. Goes to the Eva the Random Girl, Evan's sister. GG's to Creamy93, Green Chan, well, and Little Mystics, Mystics Rivers. At all. Not with action you like both just saw. put up one heck of a good fight. This triple threat match, definitely, of how long it went, made up for the fact that the fifth match got cut short due to Big T surprise attack on King of Palanzi. I wonder what that will be about. I hope you all enjoyed that lovely six match triple threat. Congra congratulations, Eve of the Random Girl, for winning.
And now, as we get ready and set up, time for the main event coming up next. Don't go anywhere. The seventh match coming up next for the WRW, the fourth WRW of 2023. Private Mini Wheat coming back again for another chance at winning Money in the Bank. In a ladder match against Big T Homie, the Django Markov. Django Markov, VTuber. Extraordinaire versus Private Mini Wheat of the Trophy Hunters. Both of these superstars getting a getting a shot at money in the bank. I mean since Private Mini Wheat locked out unfortunately against Master Anakin on Ren XC for those who watch Ren XC. You all saw it. Things happen. Let me get their entrance scenes ready. So for Prime Mini Wheat, once again, Sister Nancy. Bam Bam Remix. For Django Markov, Goku Rap, Rustaj, I believe. Breaking Limits. Alright, entry teams are ready. Entry teams are ready to go. Superstars are ready to come out. Let me pause this music. And for the final countdown for the main event for Money in the Bank and the ladder match. 15, Itchy, 414, 13, 12, 11, Ayo, 10, Kemi, 9. Draco 8 effects, 7 the random guy, a ditch of 7, 6 Samarins, loudspeaker 215, Final Fantasy Fangirl, Phantom Thief Joker 1994, Greeny 93, Lost Time 3, Slay Tuba, Game Raptor 1, Rin Joker 0. Let's get ready to Rinbo with the main event ladder match for the Money in the Bank prize. Private Mini Wheat. Of the Trophy Hunters, Plots and Pursuers, versus Django the Phoenix Markov of the Big T Homies. Coming up next, only on WRW. Making their way to the ring first, carrying the flag, representing Amer America and the Trophy Hunters. Get ready guys, big time singles matches coming up here. But I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Private Mini Wheat.
And now, coming out next, Private Minuit's opponent and challenger for this ladder match. Breaking limits, making their way, rising as a phoenix to the ring. Jangle, the phoenix, Markov. Time ladder match coming up here, guys. We've seen some crazy ladder matches in the past, Cole. And given the two superstars we have involved here tonight, I'm willing to bet this one will be no different. Is Jango Markov gonna go Ultra Instinct during mini the fight mini week? Both superstars are in the ring. Definitely an electric money bay hanging overhead. While it seems easy enough, many weeks during this starting the fight off. What the strike? After getting hit with it a dozen times. Picking Django up. Django with the counter. Mini Wee with the arm drag. Tries to lift Django. Django. Retaliates. Mini Wee throws Django over the ropes. And Django battling back. Jango with the elbow drop, oh, with the elbow to the face. Punch to the back. Jango with the big boot. Or more like dress shoes, I'm pretty sure. I think Jango, Jango's. Oh! Jango punches Mini Wheat off the apron and into that ladder. Mini Wheat's body made. Contact with the ladder. As it knocked the ladder down. Mini Wheat battling back though. Here we go. As uh, Django threw the ladder into the ring. Positioning the ladder in the center of the ring. Mini Wheat setting up the ladder. Django back in the ring. Mini Wheat didn't climb it yet because Django's back in the ring. Mini Wheat throws Django into the ladder. to keep him from climbing that ladder and winning this match. All right. Don't blow this. It's not very often you Mini stand with the around the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and Mini walk out of the, here with the win. Oh, nasty the wheat effect. blitz. Once again, throwing Django oh, into the ladder. Django with the clothesline to Mini Wheat over the top rope. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, Django climbing the top of the ladder. Grabbing hold of the briefcase. I think it sounds so easy, but if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring, climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. Mini Week climbing the ladder, throwing Django off the ladder and saying, It's over, Django. I have the high ground. Mini Week grabbing hold of the money in the bank. Absolutely not. I think Django loosened it. You think. Mini Wheat, will Mini Wheat get it? Or is Django gonna be able to stop him? Private Mini Wheat does it again! And wins! Money in the bank! These guys were awesome. Let's take another look.
Here is your winner, Here is your winner and Money in the Bank once again. Congratulations, right Private there. Mini Week. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. GG is the Django kind of Markham. You've come to expect here you're trying your best. What an amazing you'll man. rise again from the you'll rise again from the ashes as the Phoenix you are, and come back strong, surely. Congratulations, Private Mini Week. Thank you all too much to everyone. Thank you to everyone that watched. Wherever you are, for the wrestling broadcast, or it be after all it being on YouTube, it can be watched anytime, anywhere. Whether it's also like the instant upload premiere, or later after the premiere. I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, like. So I want to say congratulations, GG's to all the winners tonight. Congratulations again to Neko's Graham and Christian Cool for your first time team up tag team win against Aquarius Wolf and Eve White Wolf. Congratulations to Joker with wrestling and making Butt Spot tap out. Congratulations to Captain Semi Rescue and Semi Rested for getting your 12th win against Macho Mr. Green Pay Greeny Savage. Congratulations to Zumi Noog for. Best thing in winning against Slay Goku Black in the Iron Man match. Well, congratulations to Big T Plays Games for coming on out and winning and beating up King of Alonzi. Surprise attack out of nowhere. We didn't. No one saw it coming. Which means the knock, the team knocked Masters and Team King Light match never happened. This is unfortunate. Hopefully they'll get a chance to fight again. Maybe a redo. Congratulations to Evil the Random Girl for winning the sixth match, and congratulations to Private Mini Week for winning the main event, Money in the Bank. All right, thank you all so much. As always, let me. Close you out with song. This is your owner, general manager of Roland Wrestling, of WRW Wednesday Night Wrestling and RenXT, signing out the announce table. And always, and as always, Remember me Though I have to say goodbye Remember me Don't let it make you cry For even if I'm far away I hold you in my heart I sing a secret song to you Each night we are apart Remember me Though I have to travel far Remember me 
each time you hear a sad guitar Know that I'm with you The only way that I can be Through YouTube and Twitch Twitch and YouTube Until you're in my Streams and YouTube again Remember I hope you all have a great night. Sleep well. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And until next time, until next World Wind Wrestling event, which will, which will be the Royal Rumble. So no WRW and NXT until Royal Rumble happens live on Twitch. So until then, sayonara. Take care and adieu.